Well, hello guys. Uh, I found the solution for the error of Call of Duty Ghosts that closed the game while playing and displays an error message saying that the device was removed. Uh, well, this happens because of NVIDIA Optimus. This is the technology that switches between video cards depending on the usage. Well, I found out that this was an issue because the errors were occurring during mission startups and changing between missions when displaying videos and part of the game where Optimus uh, thought that it was needed to change uh, video cards because of the demand of video performance. Well, to fix this, first of all, you have to go to the, your desktop and then um, click and uh, right click, then choose NVIDIA control panel. Well, when it launches, uh, you have to go to manage 3D settings uh, on the left menu. Then go to program settings, program settings, and choose your game from the list. From the list, if it if it doesn't appear, you uh, you can add it here. For example, here it's my Call of Duty Ghost. And if it isn't list, it listed here, you can browse the TX, TX, .exe file. But here's my game, so I'm going to select this program. And by default, it is using the global settings. And it is auto selection. Uh, in this case, it is saying that it's going to use the integrated video card which I don't want. I've got an NVIDIA card and I want better performance so I want to force the usage of the NVIDIA video card. So you have to choose and then you can update the settings. Um, this is optionally. If you can, you want, you can change the settings. For example, you can enable FXAA by default this is off, you can turn it on well this is uh, for uh, mm, for video cards that are slower so this FX AI it's slow, it's faster than it times 2 or times 4 anti-aliasing but it's, it has a better uh, a worse uh, performance so I'm gonna keep it off by now and you have to apply well apply, apply changes I can say and can close this now and I am able to launch the game without this error there is a faster way to do this but uh, it's for just one time for example if I want to launch this game with the NVIDIA card I can the, uh, right click on it and run with graphics processor and I can choose the um, the video card I want to launch it but if you choose this way of doing this you will have to do it every time you want to play the game and it is very boring so um, I suggest you to change it forever by changing it with the control point well I guess you guys uh, have a fun with this game and we'll see you next time